Hey, so this is Robert Stanley. I wanted to show you how, you know, I do press releases, or I've just started doing press releases. Um, as many of you know, I'm in the local marketing niche, and um, press releases are really quite fantastic for local businesses in particular. And I um, really don't know how to write them, um, and I don't. I use Need an Article. Um, it's pretty cheap. I mean, I don't know if you use need an article to, to get articles, but it's basically nine bucks a month. And then you, you know, you can get articles at, you know, 500 word articles for five bucks. Um, you can also get press releases and such. So what I'm going to do is um, just kind of log in and show you where I get my press releases. I submit a press release and then how I take those press releases and get them distributed. Um, uh, using my new favorite tool so uh, let's get in here now alright so I just logged in you can see that I've got credit um, basically I just do PayPal transfer and uh, order my articles and stuff and um, usually do in batches quite often when I'm building new local blogs and stuff and uh, content unique content is important in my opinion and so I will order unique articles on here but you know that's a different subject. I actually have, if you're interested in article spinning and stuff, I have a thing called articlespinninghowto.com you can check out. But what I'm going to show you is um, press releases. So let me uh, go in here and say, not article rewrites. Okay, so my activity. Now you can go over here. You can request a press release for sixteen dollars and fifty cents. So I'm going to click on press release request. And the press release title. In this case, I'm just going to do something for uh, my stuff, my software called Local Niche Spy. Spy. Uh, free keyword. Oops. Software. Okay, well, I'm still filling this out, and I don't really want to bore you with the filling out the press release. It's not uh, terribly complicated. You just got to fill out all the information. Something that is important is getting the formatting correct. And if you go to Microsoft Office, so office.microsoft.com, and do a search for press release templates, you'll be able to download a template um, that gives you uh, some important guidelines as far as press releases. There's also um, guy's name is Bill Stoller. If you type in press release samples, um, you'll get this Publicity Insider thing, and they have a great guideline here. I'll give you the links to all these. Of course, you can subscribe to his newsletter if you choose to. Um, but he shows you what a press release layout should look like. Um, you can get this exact template from Microsoft. You can get the press release itself written at needanarticle.com if you don't want to write it yourself. And then he gives you some great ideas on what you should do. Like, for example, the headline. You don't want to do a sales style headline like what we're used to in the internet marketing world, right? They do kind of these short, <clears throat> almost newspaper style, teens, ultra thin movie, pop stars set bad example. See that? It's, it's very much like a newspaper headline. Um, then they have subheads which is very similar to like a sales letter and then um, now what he's talking about here is not necessarily SEO based press releases which in some cases is important to us but if you're writing a press release because you want it to get picked up by a news agency and you're doing it for a local business you're definitely going to want to follow his guidelines here because he says don't do hype you know no bullshit or hype you just want to keep it kind of factual so um, this is probably the best place to go to get a running example of what it should look like. Now, I, as I said before, I don't write them. I go to need an article, I have them write them first, and then what I do is I go through and I massage it, change it so that it, it isn't um, so well, so that it reads a little bit better, it sends the message that I want to send. Then the next thing I do is I fire up Viral, Viral Submitter Pro, my newfound favorite tool, uh, which you can uh, pick up, and you just put cut and paste everything in here and then like in the categories if you hit a letter um, 
you know start out at the top if you hit a letter it'll scroll down to that letter that you want to uh, see it's like I hit S D M it just takes you to those letters so your header your summary your press body um, obviously your SEO related tags the author email company and website all that stuff's gonna be important and then you should upload now in order to do this you have to have a press release account um, you know you can just do one real quick you can go to prlog.com set up one I just did one two seconds ago um, as a matter of example and then submit it in here now this uh, viral submitter pro will handle multiple it'll do articles and videos too but I'm using it for primarily for press releases uh, it will do I think five different press release um, sources four press release sources sorry PR log beta news click press and free press index so uh, really a great way to submit press releases uh, for your customers on a regular basis and it actually shows you let's see your uploads a history of all the past um, information you've sent so you can actually um, get all the links retweet them dig them Facebook them uh, you can also export those or, or take screenshots of those and send them to your customers so that they know that you know you've done that work for them so that was primarily it I want to show you I wanted to show you the need an article thing um, the template from Microsoft and then of course uh, the publicity insider tutorial on like what makes a press release good you get those elements together and then you have what you need to submit press releases for your clients and for your business quite frankly so Hope you found that useful, a uh, little, little tip for you.